Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Adventures. Today in this video, I'm going to be replacing some ridge cap shingles on my roof after a storm came by a few weeks ago and knocked off half of them. So let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial video right now. So about a week ago, I was pulling out my driveway and I looked up on my roof and I noticed something was wrong. There was a large clump of shingles just on the ridge. Now I went up there and noticed practically half of the roof was missing, just the ridge cap shingles. So I went over to Menards and picked some new ones up. So I would suggest actually grabbing the old shingles if you can, just take one and then bring it over to Menards Fleet Farm, wherever you're going to pick up your shingles from. So you don't have any issues with aligning the color and what brand they are. If you just take a picture, sometimes your phone actually will have a wrong color, especially if you have like a blue screen filter on or it's not bright enough or something like that. So just bring the old shingle with you. And I am using a three tab roof shingle for my ridge caps here. And you can see they're divided and I can fold them and then actually stack them. Makes it a lot easier going up on the roof. So these are the Oak Ridge three tab shingles and I believe it is a steak gray and this is what the packaging looks like. So go ahead and try these out. I really like these. It's easy to just bring them up on the roof. Now before I go up on the roof, I'm going to go ahead and just create some end pieces and I need two end pieces to cover up any kind of nails when I go ahead and finish my shingles. Now to do this, just fold over your shingle just like this and I'm doing it above the tar line so the tar line isn't on my end piece. Now you could always just cut it above the tar line but it seems like just folding the shingle is just as easy and you do get kind of a clean edge as well. So I'm just going to fold it over like this and then just tear it and it seems like it works well. Now going up on the roof, make sure your ladder is positioned accordingly and there's plenty of rungs above the actual roof line right there. I have at least two of them so I can actually grip it as I get up on the roof and I can dismount without effort. Also when you're over at Menards, pick up some cheap roofing cement and this stuff was only like three or four bucks. It's just all purpose roof cement, it looks like that. So here are my shingles that I picked up and I folded and now I'm going to position them onto my roof. Now I pretty much did 90% of the work so I'm just going to show you a little bit. Now when I add the new shingle I'll cover up the nails on the old shingle and then I'll put it about one inch from the sides and above the tar line. So I like to do this because then you nail the nail through the top shingle and then the shingle underneath so the shingle underneath actually has double the amount of nails so this could all be preference but this is how i like to do it just to prevent them from flying off and i am using one three fourths inch nails for my roof and once you get the hang of this this process can go relatively quick Now just to give you an estimate, if you have about 20 feet of ridge caps you have to replace, it's probably going to cost you about one pack which is about $30 and then you got to get nails which is about three or four bucks and then the roofing cement as well. So in total you should be looking at about $40 after tax. So now I'm at the end of the roof and I'm going to patch up and put over my end piece on the shingles. So I'm driving in the last couple nails here and those two end pieces I made, I'm gonna cover up the nails I just pounded in. And then I'm gonna put four nails in, one in each corner, and then put some roofing cement over them just to cover up and to prevent any water from seeping in through the nail holes. So let's put one in each end. Now when driving the nails for the end pieces, try not to over dry them so they actually puncture the shingle. Just try to keep them level with it and then you can put the roof cement over the top of that and just cover up any kind of leakage or holes on the sides of the nail. So with my roofing cement, I'm just going to put a little dab on each of the nails and then just spread it around. Now spread the roof cement over the top of the nail and try to level this out. Now you can use the cardboard from the nail box you're using if you used up all the nails. 
for me, I just ended up using a nail head. And this actually seemed to work out relatively fine. As long as you're covering up the entire nail head and then leveling this out and keeping it flat. Now to add extra sealant capabilities, take one of your shingles and just rub it against each other and try to get some of the rocks to break off and fall on top of the actual roof cement. This will do one thing, it will seal it a little bit better. Then also it will cover up the black look on it and will kind of make it mesh in with the shingles on the ground already. Now another place you could get some of the rocks that kind of break off from your shingles would be your actual gutters. Maybe you have a bunch of like little rocks in your gutters that are just sitting in there just grab some of those and just sprinkle it over the top of the roof cement and you should be good to go so hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out if you did go and leave a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on your six adventures